Now, if we read the placenta, its location, this is the placenta, this white band, and it is fundal region. Uh, try to grade it, its grading is to, I usually try to, my parameters are that this is grade 2 to grade 3 placenta. Why not purely grade 3? Because we do not see any echogenicity relating to this area. No echogenicity whatsoever throughout the placental substance. So, however, the placental lakes, lakes are in abundance and the texture of the placenta as it uh, continues to mature becomes coarser and coarser. Now, as this is a slightly more coarse a placenta compared to that. <coughs> Here you see, this is the total bulk of the placenta. And, uh, you do not see any echogenicities, no comma shape densities. These are the placental lakes. These are the placental lakes. And these are in abundance, though, no doubt. And uh, the lobulations that is talked about very much they are not too much. Now there is variation as regards the lobulation of the placenta in grading it. Uh, because if you are seeing here that this is a grade 2 to 3 placenta, uh, we do not see enough uh, lobulation at its amniotic border in this region. As most of the books define. the lobulation also as one of the parameters in grading the placenta. So, no epigenesis is seen. So this is a placenta a grade 2 to 3, uh, much coarser as compared to the level 2 placenta. Pure level 2 placenta is not this much coarse and the number of lakes lakes are less and uh, the size of the placenta is not as thick as you are seeing, as big as you are seeing. So this is a grade 2 to grade 3 placenta. Thank you. Thanks. Now this placenta that we concentrate on the placenta. This is a very soft appearing placenta occupying the anterior wall, the fundal region and part of the posterior wall as well. Look at the softness, how soft the placenta is. Okay. Now this is grade 1 placenta. This is very soft placenta, this is the placenta with the interior wall, this is the fundal region and this is the posterior wall. This is the amniotic fluid, so this is grade 1 placenta and uh, we differentiate it from other uh, grading, there is no indentation, there are no echogenesities within the uh, placental substance, there, there are no placental legs as well. So this is uh, the defi by definition what we call as grade one uh, placenta. Okay. Now if you see that this is uh, fundal placenta grade three. Why placenta grade three is the reason is that you can see the number of echogenicities, these tiny echogenicities, comma-shaped echogenicities, 
coarseness, see the coarseness of the uh, placental substance, see the placental lakes. Thus, uh, this is very much consistent with uh, grade 3 placenta at 34 week gestational age. Placenta is fundal. Keeping in view the fact, the number of ecogenesis is and uh, the coarseness of the placenta and the lobulation that is uh, seen with the placenta. These are the observations. Thank you. Now this video segment relates to the study of uh, grade 3 placenta in which you can see there are multiple uh, lakes. These are all placental lakes. And uh, ecogenicities are not as numerous as we really see in grade 3. There are usually comma shaped densities seen, but in this case, there is hardly any density seen so far. So now if you see this is a typical grade 3 placenta. Thank you. This study pertains to the identification of uh, grade 3 placenta. Now the location is anterior wall as you can see. Here, this is the location. This is the, uh, this one. The anterior wall placenta. And uh, see the texture. Now see the coma-like densities, this. And you will see a lot of densities in this region. This is the chorionic plate, a portion of the chorionic plate, this area. And uh, the equigenicities, you will also see equigenicities in this region which will be significant in number and you will also see placental lakes this, this is a placental lake this is a placental lake and you see that here you see now here are the densities these you see these densities. There are a few densities in this region as well. Your eye interpretation as you go on uh, performing the uh, ultrasound studies is of uh, immense importance which comes with the uh, number of uh, scans you have performed. Yeah, you just keep in, view, in mind the ecogenicities, the number, the texture of the placenta and uh, the placenta lakes and the coma-like densities. So these all are helpful in defining the stage of the pregnancy, which you can see that in this case the patient is 37 weeks, gestational age is 37 weeks, and uh, not unusual to see this type of placenta, which is quite normal.
for the age of the gestation. You see? So this is the third grade placenta. Let's keep an eye. See, these are the events below. These are the legs. This is the small control of my uh, sorry, uh, amniotic fluid. So this is the great key. This study pertains to the identification of uh, grade 3 placenta. Now the location is anterior wall, as you can see. Here, this is the location. This is the, uh, this one. The anterior wall placenta. And uh, see the texture. Now see the coma-like densities. This. And you will see a lot of densities in this region. This is the chorionic plate, a portion of the chorionic plate, this area. And uh, the echogenicities. You will also see echogenicities in this region which will be significant in number and you will also see placental lakes this, this is a placental lake this is a placental lake and you see that here you see now here are the densities these you see these densities. There are a few densities in this region as well. Your eye interpretation as you go on uh, performing the uh, ultrasound studies is of uh, immense importance which comes with the n number of uh, scans you have performed. Yeah, you just keep in, view, in mind the echogenicities, the number, the texture of the placenta, and uh, the placental lakes and the coma-like densities. So these all are helpful in defining the stage of the pregnancy, which you can see that in this case, the patient is 37 weeks. Gestational age is 37 weeks. And uh, not unusual to see this type of placenta, which is quite normal for the age of the gestation. So this is the third grade placenta. Let's keep an eye. See, these are the events below. So these are the lakes. This is the small control of my, uh, sorry, uh, amniotic fluid. So this is the great people. Well, this is a wonder placenta with a right record, you can see this the right record and see the echogenicity. There are multiple echogenicities seen. And you can't count them. These are all echogenicities at the and you can also see the lobulated appearance of the uh, amniotic surface. Note the echogenesis is quite enough to be labeled as great three placenta, rather I will say grade three to grade four. 
This is grade 3 to grade 4, the center keeping in view the number of aquagenicities, the size of the placenta is normal, and uh, a little bit of meconium that you are seeing is normal for this gestational uh, age. The thickness of the density is placental lakes, but can see the placental lakes as a replacental substance. That too, uh, this is the placental lake one, you can see this region, and see the echogenicity. So whenever you see too much echogenicity, bright areas within the placental substance, basically in this region, these are, these are suggestive of grade 3 to grade 4 placenta. Placenta size is normal, umbilical cord is normal, no anomaly seen relating to the placenta. So this is how a grade 3 to grade 4 placenta will appear as. Thank you very much. This study pertains to the identification of uh, grade 3 placenta. Now the location is anterior wall, as you can see. Here, this is the location. This is the, uh, this one. The anterior wall placenta. And uh, see the texture. Now see the coma-like densities, this, and you will see a lot of densities in this region. This is the chorionic plate, a portion of the chorionic plate, this area, and uh, the equigenicities, you will also see equigenicities in this region which will be significantly number and you will also see placental lakes this, this is a placental lake this is a placental lake and you see that here you see now here are the densities these you see these densities. There are a few densities in this region as well. Your eye interpretation as you go on uh, performing the uh, ultrasound studies is of uh, immense importance which comes with the n number of uh, scans you have performed. Yeah, you just keep in, view, in mind the ecogenicities, the number, the texture of the placenta, and uh, the placental lakes and the coma-like densities, so these all are helpful in defining the stage of the pregnancy, which you can see that in this case the patient is 37 weeks, gestational age is 37 weeks, and uh, not unusual to see this type of placenta, which is quite normal for the age of the gestation. So this is the third grade placenta. Let's keep an eye. See, these are the densities also. These are the lakes. This is the small amount of my, uh, sorry, uh, amniotic fluid. So this is the grade three.